this is Sherry from Twitter Painted with Paper. Today I will be showcasing a holiday tutorial with Long Line Crafts, and this is day four, 2023. I'm going to show you how to make a fun shaker card, and to do that, I will be using the Wintertime Paper Pack, the Jolly Penguins Clear Stamp Set, the Christmas Tree Stencil, and I'll only be using that for the embossing, and the Windowsills Rounded Die, the Winter Circle Die, and not shown are the snowflakes ornament die along with the window die. Okay, using the window die and 110 pound cardstock, I've cut five different die cuts, and those will measure, uh, gosh, about three and a half by four and a half. So I will cut a piece of clear acetate to use for the shaker as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down to the first layer. And at this point, anything that is um, hanging off the edges and excess, I will trim off. And now I can go ahead and add the different layers again, probably about four or five more on top of here. And when this is done, it'll be a nice pocket for the shaker bits. So that there's lots of room for them to move around. Just continuing on. This card is a pretty sturdy, um, thick card because of all of the 110 pound cardstock, but I really like the feel of it. It ends up feeling very substantial and I like that. Those are all on there nicely. Check and make sure there's no glue seeping out too much anywhere. And now I also have another layer uh, cut to four and five and a quarter, which I have gone ahead and embossed using that Christmas tree stencil. And I will add the window sills that I've cut with window sills rounded die, one to the top and one to the bottom. Really love the way this window turns out. You know, Irina has so many fun pattern papers in the shop right now with all kinds of different scenes, and I'm very excited to be using them with these windows. Really makes a fun, quick, easy card to put together. So this is one of those papers that I was talking about, and again, that is from the Wintertime Paper Pack. There's so many good patterns in there, so many good backgrounds. I'll add my shaker bits and I also have cut a few stars using the winter circles die out of white glitter paper and I want them to stay in place so I'm just going to tack them down um, onto my card base or onto my shaker base um, that way when the shaker bits are all down at the bottom You'll still see these pretty little stars up on the paper. A little bit more shaker bits. And um, that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and glue that layer down. Being careful not to get any of the of the sequins under the glue portions. Press that down nicely. And then the hard part is not shaking it before the glue has time to set in, which I'm not patient, so there we go. Give it a little shake, I like it. And at this point, I can add my layers to my card base. So I will tack that back onto the um, four by five and a quarter inch layer. Again, it's not showing up very well, but that layer is embossed and it's really such a sweet um, feature. It's 
straighten that up. And then that goes right onto my A2 card base that is scored at the top. Make that a nice amount of glue so everything stays down nicely. And I will try to get this centered on my first attempt. That was pretty good. Okay, so now I could add my uh, previously colored penguin from the Jolly Penguins stamp set. And um, I also cut a star out of white glitter paper using the Snowflakes ornament die. And after I tack that down, my card will be finished. There's lots of cute sentiments inside that um, that come with the Jolly Penguins clear stamp set that can be used for the inside of the card. And that is it for me. Everything looks good. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by. And happy holidays.